hi everyone so welcome to today's class in the last class we have seen the first point or first activity in the discover phase that was the rise with sap adoption framework so we we have seen in that what is the adoption framework and what should be the activities over there so basically this will be mostly your project management side okay they will be doing this thing so second thing today we are going to discuss about the cloud cloud trial okay so what is a cloud trial or how you can do the cloud trial so all the details we will be discussing in this class so before moving forward this will be a work for you so please do like this video if you found that this is a informative video for you and you think that these kind of video we should upload in the channel so how i should know from your likes okay so please do like the video if at least 200 likes are coming then i can plan for the next session on the strategic planning conversion readiness assessment i will be going to the third class otherwise we will be stopping this sessions okay so at least 200 likes will be needed so please do like it okay some people they are giving a thumbs up but uh, i need to know if this is helpful or not so if at least 200 mark is reached then we can say or we can believe that okay it is helpful to all of you so we can prepare for the next classes okay so now let's move on to the topic and we will be discussing what is a cloud trails for so from the name itself you can understand that cloud trial is nothing but you have to do the trial like any kind of software is there they're giving you a trial period right seven days or one day or two day or 24 hours or five hours of trial version will be there okay so basically this is for that that kind of thing like trial you can do a trial on that sap system so this is basically for your client side okay this is for your client team not for you or consulting side or for your it team side this will be mostly for the client side so they will be doing this discover kind of activity so they will be doing this cloud trial so in the trial what they can doing so they will be uh, like they will be understanding their process and they they will be they need to know where they are facing some of the challenges where they are facing some of the pain points so everything they will be discussing so as we have discussed in the last class like business understanding what is the pain points and what needs to be improved so all those kind of things they need to access and they need to assess it and they need to find out if there is any kind of solution is there in the SAP okay so SAP best practices is there so don't suppose that only you are the consultant in, and you know all of the thing no before going to implement the SAP at least before going to implement the SAP the client also they invest a lot of time in the SAP okay so they also go through the details like whatever things are there what are the best practices are there how sap is running so they also invest a lot of time so this is the starting point of their time okay maybe someone from their it team or their let's say whoever there will be business lead kind of thing so these people they will be investing their time they will be understanding the um like sap what is the sap how the sap work what is there in sap and how it can help them so they will be doing all those kind of things so first thing will be coming under the assessment so basically they will be doing the assessment and they will be looking for what are the challenges are there what kind of challenges they are facing in the current system second thing with solution exploration so solution exploration is basically there they will be going for the solution as i have told you based on the best practices okay so based on the best practices what is the best practices are available so they will go through that one and they will find some documents from there they will be analyzing like okay this solution is there this can be helpful for us so they will be analyzing all those details this is not related to any other than the client team okay they also need to have some idea on sap it is not like that they are blank on sap they don't know anything about the sap and whatever things you are saying to them it is okay for them that is not the situation every client before they are going to sap implementation they invest a lot of time to understand the sap because it is only money for you 
right if you are implementing the sap it is only for the money like implementation you work on the implementation but it is beneficial for them if sap is going to provide them a correct solution or not so that's why they explore a lot more uh, like lot more than the consultant okay you are only working on the configuration and requirement gathering but they will understand the sap what is it like how the sap is solving issues or problems so they will be exploring on that side okay next one is hands-on experience so hands-on experience is nothing but you are going to create some transactions you are going to create some uh, let's say uh, uh, you are going to create some let's say uh, data over there okay so there are uh, some of the uh, let's say we, we can say there are some um, if if we say about the process uh, demos are also there in sap okay so they can go there and they can use that uh, those kind of demos and they, they can uh, enter some of the data so everything will be there okay so it, it will be like uh, you will be exploring how the purchase order is getting created how the purchase requisition is create getting created how you can create a material so everything is there so you just have to try it try the cloud version okay cloud trial version so clients will also have an idea let's say on the higher management level not to the uh, let's say uh, user level but for the higher management level they will be having some idea like how sap looks like and how sap works so they will be having a hands-on experience on that one okay now next one is proof of concept so basically proof of concept means uh, let's say once you are confirmed let, let's say you are a business lead of the client let's say you understand okay this is sap this is how sap can help me this is how sap can help our business to grow or business to groom so now if you understand now you can use that as a proof of concept okay now you can share those kind of things to other stakeholders let's say you are the business lead now you have to discuss with it with uh, some of the other stakeholders okay so you can discuss with them you can validate some of the assumptions you can let's say uh, you can uh, discuss the outcomes and you can discuss about the decisions look how we can go forward how we can take it forward so everything you can uh, let's say uh, go for any kind of things you are going forward you can go uh, you can have a decision making process in this cloud trial process so you are getting an idea and you can reach out to other stakeholders and you can explain them like this is the process this is the easy solution that we are having okay so daily we are um, uh, as we are using like this one in our strategy or in our daily work so right now sap is solution sap is providing a solution in this way which will be helpful for us to work effectively or work better and to groom our business so that is called a proof of concept so what are the benefits of cloud trial if you are going for a cloud trial so basically first thing will be a risk free exploration okay exploration means you are going to explore anything so that is why uh, a trial is given let's say anything if you are purchasing a software online also it will give some trial versions right so everywhere you can find every software has a trial version okay why they are giving a trial version directly someone is giving to uh, giving the money to them so maybe they find that this software is not helpful for me or something like that so before that one you can have a trial so same thing you don't have a risk over there you are getting a system there you can some explore some of the scenarios some of the work you can just explore and that will be not having the current business system impact okay so because that is the other system or dummy system you are looking into right so next one is uh, your reduced implementation risk so if you explored all the, the scenarios and you know what are the uh, like let's say what are the um, to do's and what are don'ts are there okay so let's say uh, which kind of process you need to implement which kind of process you need not to implement which kind of process you need to avoid which kind of things you need it okay so those kind of things you can just have it in a place let's say document it or anything from the customer side this is basically today we are discussing this activity will be from the customer side okay so basically this will be reducing your implementation risk so in the implementation 
you will be having an idea okay what to implement and what not to implement and how to reduce the risk okay if you are going for a everything if you are going at a place so that will be having some risk of implementation failure okay so that is why there will be less risk at the time of implementation okay next one is a stakeholder buy-in so basically if you are going to demonstrate uh, let's say in SAP you want to demonstrate something let's say how the purchase order is getting created or how the automatic purchase order is getting created so that is a secondary thing we will not uh, go into that details let's say this might not be uh, relevant for the clients but let's say if they are going with any kind of things okay like your purchase order creation or let's say automatic PR generation or something so they can have a let's say demonstration on that one so uh, this is how we are working till now and this is how we can work on SAP so they can use the stakeholders so they, they, they can take the stakeholders decision into that their uh, let's say uh, in into their decision right so they can buy um, buy in the stakeholders into their category right so this is all about our cloud trial process so as I have told you please do like the video if you like the content and if you like to have these kind of contents coming more and more okay so if you want to discuss or if you want to know all of these details like what are the activities and what are the things are there in the SAP activate methodology please do like this video okay if you like the content at least if I get 200 like then I will be preparing for the next class okay so till then bye bye take care and keep learning